Good morning all and welcome to morning prayer. This is Monday, the octave of Easter. Our morning prayer today begins on page 484. Let us join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm, keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, by his death, your only begotten Son overcame death. And through the power of his resurrection, he opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we who celebrate with joy in this Paschal season may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. We ask this through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Awake, glad soul, awake, awake. Thy Lord has risen long. Go to his grave and with thee take both tuneful heart and song. Where life is waking all around, where love's sweet voices sing, the first bright blossom may be found of an eternal spring. And every bird and every tree and every opening flower proclaim this glorious victory, his resurrection power. The folds are glad, the fields rejoice, with vernal beauty spread, the little hills lift up their voice and shout that death is dead. Then wake, glad heart, awake, awake, and seek thy risen Lord. Joy in his resurrection take, and comfort in his word. And let thy life, through all its ways, one long thanksgiving be. Its themes of joy, its song of praise. Christ died and rose for me. A reading from Psalm 119. You have done many good things for me, Lord, just as you promised. I believe in your commands. Now teach me good judgment and knowledge. I used to wander off until you disciplined me, but now I closely follow your word. You are good and do only good. Teach me your decrees. Arrogant people smear me with lies, but in truth I obey your commandments with all my heart. Their hearts are dull and stupid, but I delight in your instructions. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Romans. The message is very close at hand. It is on your lips and in your heart. And that message is the very message about faith that we preach. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has hurled both horse and rider into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he has hurled into the sea. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smashes the enemy. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord, glorious in holiness, awesome in splendor, performing great wonders? You raised your right hand, and the earth swallowed our enemies. With your unfailing love, you lead the people you have redeemed. In your might, you guide them to your sacred home. 
You will bring them in and plant them on your own mountain, the place, O Lord, reserved for your own dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, it will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. By your resurrection, show us today the light of life. By your resurrection, speak to us the word of life. By your resurrection, nourish us with the bread of life. By your resurrection, pour out on us the spirit of life. By your resurrection, prepare for us the crown of life. By your resurrection, enroll those who have died in the book of life. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, hear the joyful praise and prayer of your people. Mercifully grant that we who celebrate with awe these days in our Lord's resurrection may be found worthy to attain to everlasting joy in the kingdom, where you live and reign with your Son and the Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and ordain his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, my friends and family, thank you so much for joining with me today in prayer. It's so important to start our day off in fellowship with God and spending time with our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us love each other today. Help us love one another and be kind and gentle as the scriptures tell us. May the Lord be with you and bless you this day.